Friends, before starting about our JQ command course, here I want to give a simple clue to remember JQ command syntax with input and outputs. And this is the syntax for it. See, basically, JQ command is used to process JSON data. By that, you are going to get some output data. Not only with the JQ command, if you run any command on your command line, finally you are going to get some output. Same way, if you run JQ command on your input, you will get definitely some output. But you need to process your JSON data with JQ command. Then syntax would be start with your JQ command, provide some input, and write the logic to process your input JSON data in these quotations. By that, you are going to get your output. And here, you can write your logic in this single quotations or double quotations. You can take either single or double quotations. But best practice is always using single quotations. And then your input you can provide either left side of this single quotations or right side of that single quotations. And there is a difference. Suppose if you provide your data right side of your expression, then that could be a file or JSON data. But if you provide your input left side of this expression here, that is a variable. And sometimes optionally you can provide some options for your input. So be clear, whatever the logic you are writing here, based on that only you are going to get your output. So I can say now this is output expression. And we can develop logic to get output using variables or functions or filters or conditions or combination of filters and functions. That we will see in our course.